Hello, my beautiful Taurus. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of your love life. So it's going to be your general love reading for the week here. Uh, so pretty much whatever comes out for you guys. Okay, let's see. Okay. Interesting. So you guys have two cards here. The first card we have a uh, wealthy man. Of course, some of you may be involved with a female here, a woman. But what I see here, guys, is this may be someone who is established. Okay, they could have their own business. They could be someone who, you know, uh, you know, has a head on their shoulders, very focused on stability, that sort of thing. And this could kind of be a hint as to who is currently thinking of you. Um, and then we have the marriage card. Okay, so this person definitely has commitment on their mind. Okay, this could be something that they have expressed to you or they have yet to express to you. So let's see here. Okay, what do we have? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so this person definitely has commitment on their mind. Marriage card plus the Ten of Pentacles. It's someone who may want more stability in this connection. Or you could be in the early stages where you are speaking to this person, but they're wanting more. Okay, split the deck and I see the seven of cups. Hmm. That's interesting because it's someone who has commitment on their mind, but with the seven of cups, you know, it could be that you guys are, you know, just getting to know each other, you're openly dating, or I could read it in a sense of someone who is, uh, you know, telling you that they want commitment, but maybe their actions are telling you something else. Because this is commitment energy and this is not. Seven of Cups is more like emotional confusion or someone who, uh, you know, is exploring their options. Could be a case of mind games. Uh, let's see. Okay. What's going on for my Taurus? So we have the chariot as the first card here. Okay, guys, so this person is very determined to move things forward with you. They're very determined to see some sort of progress here. Um, we also have the wheel on the bottom of the deck here, which is like, uh, you know, a turn of events, but something working out in your favor. It's a positive turn of events. I feel like this may be someone who is like choosing another direction or there's something to do, something to do with direction here where this person may feel like they either chose the wrong direction or they were confused about which direction to go in. But I'm getting the word direction very strongly. Um, some of you could be dealing with the cancer. They do rule the chariot. Okay, let's see. So we have the Eight of Pentacles, okay, and then we also have the Ten of Swords. What do we have on the bottom of the deck? The Page of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so this person may be viewing you as someone who is a little bit uh, more self-focused at this time. Okay, Nine of Pentacles could be when you're single or you're just in an independent energy. So with the Eight of Pentacles, I do see that this could be someone who is, you know, working very hard. They may even feel, you know, overworked at this time. With the Ten of Swords, I do see that there was some sort of an ending here. So what do I see um, mainly, Taurus, is... Someone who's determined to either prove something to you or move on from a very painful ending by offering you something new, okay? Page of Pentacles, well, the pages in general in the deck could be messengers or it's someone who's offering you something small in hopes that you guys can work together and it could become something larger, okay? Okay, so the Knight of Cups wanted to come out with the world card. Yeah, I think what's going to create a change here is your person apologizing or coming forward and telling you how they feel. So the Knight of Cups could be read as an apology or an emotional confession. It's being clarified by the world, which is uh, you know, another card of change. So what's gonna create change in this dynamic is this person being more open or vocal about how they're feeling. Okay, we have the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck here. And behind that, we have your energy, the Hierophant, and then we have the Three of Swords. 
This person may view you as a bit torn when it comes to the situation, or they do view you as someone who is hurt or a little bit mentally conflicted, almost like your, your um, hurt has turned into something um, along the lines of stress. Like maybe you felt, you know, very like a lot of sorrow before, but now you're more stressed about the situation or it's affecting you on a mental level. That's how they're viewing you. And with the five of wands here, guys, like there could have been a lot going on when you guys were trying to come together because the five of wands could be, you know, a chaotic energy. It could also be read as competition. And we did see the seven of cups. So for some of you, maybe you felt like you were constantly competing for this person's attention or you, you felt like they were telling you that they wanted a commitment, but they were keeping their options open, which either way, it resulted in you feeling that you were getting the short end of the stick or something felt very unfair to you. Okay, guys, so uh, what is the chariot? The six of swords. Yeah, this person wants to make peace with you. They want peace when it comes to the situation. Um, and it could be because you're very mentally like affected by it. Five of swords could be mental conflict. It could even be someone who is like, replaying uh you know an argument or a scenario in their mind and you know they're not having the most positive emotions towards it behind the five of swords is the knight of swords and the devil okay so this is a very clear message here taurus something was said when you guys were speaking something was said here that your person is uh, constantly replaying in their mind whether that was said on your end your person's end the both of you right it does take two to tussle here guys but with the knight of swords um, it could speak about like some sort of speedy communication that took place, but you felt like it, you guys weren't really getting to the bottom of, you know, the issue. It was more so about maybe who has the last word or maybe there was some sort of like selective listening going on. But Five of Swords and Knight of Swords could quite literally be a conflict that took place between you and this individual and they can't stop thinking about it with the devil. Okay, um, some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn. But uh, with the devil here, this could also be someone who feels like they were very, like they were focused on the wrong things or they were working through something where it was taking their time away from this connection. Okay, we did see the seven of cups. Now we're seeing the devil. This could be someone who was, you know, wanting to have their cake and eat it too, like explore their options, you know, uh, keep all doors open, but also tell you, uh, you know, what they could, uh, you know, offer you because it seems like there was some sort of empty promises made. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. Bottom of the deck here, the Nine, Nine of Swords and the Moon. What's bothering your person right now is what they did not tell you. Because Nine of Swords is worry. Could even be someone who's, you know, losing sleep, loss of appetite, that sort of thing. But behind the Nine of Swords is the Moon. Right, guys? And so the moon is when you're obviously, you know, going through a reflective period, but it also speaks about what is in the dark, what is hidden. So I feel what's stressing your person out is something that they want to tell you, but they have kept from you. And with the queen of swords, they're wanting to be very clear. This is someone that you've definitely had an ending with, guys. This is someone you've had an ending with because the queen of swords could be read as, you know, someone who has recently went through a breakup or a divorce. But I will say that what's affecting them is their dishonesty or just keeping something from you. It's someone who has this urge to open up to you and tell you how they really, really feel. And we have the Knight of Cups as well. So it's someone who definitely wants to come forward with an emotional confession. Interestingly enough, we have the Queen of Swords clarifying the um, Eight of Pentacles here. So how this person may view you also, Taurus, could be someone who is kind of very you know, focused on yourself, focused on your work, but you're still very fed up with the situation here. So they may feel like you're using work as an outlet or they're sensing that you're just kind of pouring into yourself right now, but you're still kind of like you've made something very clear or your boundaries, you've set very clear boundaries. What is the Ten of Swords? <clears throat> the Page of Wands. Yeah. There could be an age gap here, okay, guys? And then we have the Three of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Nine of Pentacles. So 
So let's talk about the Page of Wands first. You know, this is an energy of your person uh, wanting to, again, reach out to you. You guys could be on the receiving end of some sort of communication. Again, this is more lighthearted. This is someone coming in to kind of test the waters with you. Three of Swords, Three of Cups, and we also have the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you chose to kind of isolate or, you know, separate yourself from the equation here, if you will, because you felt like there was more than, you know, uh, you and this person involved, or you felt like there was constantly something in the way of you guys coming together, where it may have made you feel very hurt, but also overwhelmed emotionally. Like, okay, I have emotions for this person, but I feel like there's always something in the way. Or, you know, time and time again, when I try, I always end up hurt, so I'm not really wanting to put my feelings on the line. Okay, so that's what's going on in, uh, you know, your end. But I do see you on the receiving end of, you know, communication. Like this person making something very clear to you, being open about their emotions. Because again, guys, what's affecting this person is what they're not telling you. Okay, so there is an emphasis on them maybe replaying a scenario in their mind or uh, some sort of conflict that has already taken place here, but they're also very worried about what they did not tell you. Okay, so what is the world's card? Knight of Wands. Knight of Cups, Knight of Wands, Page of Wands. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, bottom of the deck here, Ace of Swords. Okay. For some of you, the issue was definitely, you know, someone who wanted to like keep their options open or you felt very strung along. Okay. So either they were telling you something, but they weren't following through on it. But the Knight of Wands in general, guys, it could be a very in and out energy. It could be someone who's on their feet. They like to travel a lot. You know, they're very spontaneous. But Queen of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, you may have been searching for something more stable. You may have, uh, you know, been looking for a very stable commitment where there's a lot of consistency. You don't have to play the guessing game. You don't have to worry about when this person's going to communicate with you or when they're not. But there was something that was essentially resulting in you having cold feet. And I think it was this person's lack of consistency because they are, we do have the Knight of Wands there. Okay, so let's go ahead and clarify the Six of Swords. The Star. You know what this person's realizing that what you and uh, what you and them shared was very different. But I think that during the course of this bond, that's not something that they realized. I feel like because if they realized that during the course of the bond, I doubt that they would have been in a, been in a very in and out, you know, energy here, but there's a lot that they're realizing. Almost like having a wake up call here. Bottom of the deck we have the emperor. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries and the empress. Wow, wow, wow. 9 of cups. Well, I mean, you truly make this person very happy. And with the emperor and the empress, they hold you on a very high pedestal. So this is someone who's very confident. They could be, again, established, but they feel the both of you coming together could be a very great thing. But what I see here is they were maybe showing up as someone different to you in the past where it makes it hard for you to believe that there could be some sort of stability here. Okay, so touching back on your person's emotions, guys, um, with the star card, of course, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but it speaks about someone who is now seeing how the connection between the both of you is so rare. Okay, for some of you, very specific, but if this person was treating you like an option or they weren't making a decision, maybe you kind of made a decision for them and you said, okay, well, if you're searching for something else, okay, you can go, go um, and see what else is out there and you're going to realize what I bring to the table and I see that you know, that has occurred here because what your person is going through right now, Taurus, is realizing how different the connection that you guys share is versus everything else that is available to them. Whether that's another person, whether that's just them not being happy with their life, they're starting to realize um, how important this connection is to them. Because I feel like this is someone who was maybe either like stringing you along or again, like you guys were getting to know each other, but they definitely had their options open with the Knight of Wands. It's not like they were committed to you. And now what they're thinking about is moving things to a more stable, uh, you know, space. You have the marriage card, right? Okay, so what is the Queen of Swords? The Nine of Cups. You make this person very happy. I think you have a way of understanding this person and making them feel um, very, like, emotionally fulfilled. It's almost like when you have a conversation with someone, Taurus, right? And then like, 
you feel like, okay, I could have done without that conversation. I don't feel like that conversation helped at all. It's like the opposite when they speak to you. I'm using that as an example to, you know, kind of differentiate how they feel towards others versus you. That's why they feel like you're very different or the connection that you guys share, the way that you make them feel is extremely different. And that's something that is coming to light for them right now, Taurus. Okay, um, <clears throat> with the Nine of Cups, they could, again, they feel very fulfilled around you. They feel content. They feel like you make them very happy. And this is someone who is desiring you very deeply at this time. What is the Page of Wands? There you are. You're on the receiving end of communication here. Something, it could be something that you anticipated. Okay, we have the strength card on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so we have Leo energy. What's behind it? The king of wands, the devil. Interesting. Okay, guys, yeah, the devil and the lover. So that basically, uh, you know, the obstacle here or the hurdle was this person not making a choice. Did they feel attraction towards you? Yes. Did they feel the passion? Yes. But they did not realize that this connection was either like now they're having a shift in perspective. Either they feel like it's destined to be or they're starting to realize this because they can't stop thinking about you. But I just see someone who is um, like they're starting to just realize, you know, the like the power of either your absence. It, it could have took maybe you guys not speaking or going on some sort of a break to realize that, you know, Taurus is who I want. Because with the Hierophant, they're thinking about commitment and Page of Wands and your energy. You were on the receiving end of this person's emotional confession. Them telling you how happy you make them. Them telling you how rare this connection is. So what is the Knight of Wands? I also feel like for some of you, you feel like this connection, it has taught you a lot. Not only about this person or about love, but about yourself as well. Um, because the Hierophant can also be symbolic for like, um, like a higher knowing or like... Um, learning right when you're learning something new you're kind of grasping you know the concept as to why things happened the way that they did uh what is the knight of wands see the seven of cups that we were speaking about this is exactly what i was saying not to sound too repetitive but it's someone who was not making a choice in the past here it could have felt very heavy it could have felt very burdensome um, but it's someone who's now thinking about a commitment. Why do we have the Seven of Cups? Okay. The Two of Pentacles. Yeah. This person's going back and forth in their mind on how to come in. Again, when they come in, guys with the page of wands energy that's someone who's coming in a bit lighthearted but i will say that the communication will be more about either how important you know this connection is to them or how different with the star card i don't see them uh you know diving into a conversation about commitment right away i think the first thing that they will say to you will be a lot more lighthearted to test the waters here knight of wands seven of cups and the two of pentacles. That's someone who's going back and forth in their mind right now on what to do. They're also um, having a very hard time releasing some sort of confusion. Like the seven of cups could be when you're trying to see past illusions or there's something going on in your mind. Um, and so the voice in your mind versus the reality of the situation is causing, you know, a sense of confusion here. What is the two of pentacles? <clears throat> Justice, doing the right thing balancing the skills here this person feels like doing or or what would be the the most fair thing to do here is to reach out to you or be open about their uh you know emotions here are they sure where the future is going no they're not sure with the seven of cups and the two of pentacles but they know that to you know like to get a start here they need to be open with you they need to be honest with you some of you could be dealing with the libra um, but with the justice card they are starting to realize what was very unfair or they're starting to realize your perspective on the situation and that's why they're wanting to open up okay so my wonderful taurus that is what i'm getting for you this week i really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today and uh thank you so much for your time